Shinali, walk us through what we've learned in the last 20 minutes. So he said that he would be willing to testify on the 13th. So I think questions on whether he shows up, shows up in person or not. He said that he'll try to be helpful during the hearing. He's trying to shed light, as he says on Twitter, a uh, very standard way of him for, uh, for him to communicate these days. He wants to communicate the U.S. business's solvency and ways that they could return money to users and what he thinks led to the crash. Remember, uh, he's done a series of interviews with different media outlets already, including uh, crypto publications as well as mainstream media. And he did it online as he agreed and said he's willing to testify, said he he was sorry and uh, that he's going to speak to his own failings. Remember, this all comes as uh, U.S. prosecutors are probing the collapse. The New York Times reporting yesterday that he's also uh, facing a market manipulation inquiry based on the collapse of the two cryptocurrencies that collapsed earlier this year and whether uh, his hedge fund Alameda had orchestrated trades that led to those collapses. So uh, the question for me then becomes, how broad will the line of questioning go on Tuesday? Tuesday, remember, is the House under Maxine Waters, and then the next day will be at the Senate, and will he be there both days? Shanali, be here. That's what I want to focus on. Is he going to be there? Is he coming to the United States? Or are we expecting him to stay in the Bahamas and do the interview via Zoom the way he has done so many of these media interviews? One thing he's just said on Twitter is that he doesn't have access to much of his data, personal or professional. Uh, the question I have about that is, why not? Where is all your personal and professional data? I, is that not with you in the Bahamas? And do you need to come back here to get it? Your question is right. He has not been very clear on whether he's comfortable coming back to the United States. I would remind everyone that during the deal book interview he had did, uh, you know, a number of days ago, he had mentioned and he was asked specifically whether criminal liability was the reason he was not coming back. And he did not answer whether or not that was the case. So, uh, as we were saying, multiple investigations going on at the same time and unclear whether he's willing to personally come back here. But as we know, when you're looking at um, hearings in the House Financial Services Committee, typically people come in person. So the expectation is that he would be there in person.